Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. We're going to start in a couple of seconds. Just uh, we have to check who is here and who is available tonight. So good here we have Hello, good evening, Albert. Hello, Morelia. Nice. Nice to hear Hello, you. Teacher. Hi, Hello, teacher. I'm trying to be listening because I'm involved. Okay, are you working, right? I'm going home. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you for, for telling. Um, so relax, okay? We're going to wait. Uh, in the case you're moving or you are like driving or something good like evening, that. Good evening, teacher. Like, good evening, uh, Miguel. Okay. So thank you for for answering. Um, just I'm just checking some of the couple of exercises that we're going to check uh, tonight because we're going to talk about future plans. Okay, uh, talking about um, present continuous and also non so with will. Okay, let me check something here. Okay, so nice to see you all, my friends. Predis, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you tonight? So far, so good, teacher. Okay, nice. I like to hear that. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, um, let's see who else. Marita, you're going to be like listener, right? Yeah, let me check. Okay, here we have also a couple of listeners, right? Brandon, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Okay, good evening. Okay. Let's check some other things. Okay. Okay, well, tonight, uh, well, um, I'm checking some messages. Good evening, Robert. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, nice. Good, good. I like to hear that. You're How about, about yourself? To... Well, I'm kind of relaxed tonight. Even it is Tuesday, but kind of relaxed. Uh, today was was not that difficult. I'm waiting for December. I like December. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm happy for that. Yeah, you too. You're going to have a lot of vacations. Well, not a lot, but some days. Some days for vacations. <laughs> yeah, Aguinaldo. Yeah, Aguinaldo is coming. Everybody <laughs> wants more money. Extra yeah. money. We want bonus. We want, yeah. Take care of the money. You have we have to administrate correctly. If not, in January we're not going to have money. So that's the problem. Okay. Um let me check this. Okay. Uh, class number 23. How to use will versus present progressive. Uh this is the class number 23. It means that we have just two more classes. It is on Wednesday, tomorrow. Wednesday, and we have also on Thursday. We're going to say goodbye on Thursday. Please remember to be to be like on time. Remember that we have just two more classes after this, and then we're going to be like out. I know that you already have an idea about the use of will 
and present continuous for future events. Um, especially when we want to talk about plans, when we want to talk about plans that we have, uh, they can be like routines, they can be like scheduled events, something that you have in your agenda and you say, okay, this is for tomorrow, this is for Friday. So yeah, we're going to um, take a look at this. But first, uh, first, let me see, where is it? Okay. We have some vocabulary for checking the the attendance list. Do you remember yesterday we were talking about linking words? Okay. Remember, linking words, it can be in addition. When you want to say something else, uh, you, you have and also in addition, besides, moreover. Uh, we have contrast, but however, although nevertheless, we have order like this sequence expressions okay look at this we can say first or firstly or to begin with we can say second secondly in addition third thirdly furthermore you can say lastly or in conclusion this is very but very important because we can use this to express ideas. How are we going to do this? For example, here we have some example, we have some ideas. Internet, online purchasing, freelancing, gay marriage, euthanasia, abortion. Okay, I'm going to talk about internet. One example, you can talk about advantages or disadvantages advantages, disadvantages of something. So you can order your ideas by using these phrases. You can use this, this, or this. This, this, or this one. And I'm going to select internet. Look at this. Firstly, internet is very important tool in these current times. Secondly, a lot of teenagers are expert on uh, traveling or surfing on the internet. Thirdly, uh, it has positive things and consequences. In conclusion, we have to take care about internet information, real and false information. Okay? Ya vieron. Pude detallar ideas cortas. Of course, you can talk about uh, long ideas. You can detail a lot of things, but I need you, I'm going to give you two minutes. In two minutes, you have to, okay, talk about advantages. Pueden buscar ahorita ventajas o desventajas de cualquiera de estos o cualquier tema. And we're going to use this. Y utilizamos ventaja uno, dos, tres. And you can use one of these phrases. Y le van dando forma. A su, a, 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 a su idea, le van dando forma a lo que ustedes quieren dar a entender. This is very important sequence expressions because you are explaining your point of view, but you are uh, like explaining or presenting sequence between ideas. ¿Ok? Pueden utilizar cualquiera de estas frases, ¿verdad? Pueden decir, por ejemplo, to begin with uh, internet, it is a very important tool in the current times. In addition, uh, the teenagers are experts when using internet. Furthermore, um, teenagers um, have positive and negative aspects related to the information. In conclusion, we have to be careful about what type of information we are uh, checking. It is real and false information. Así, ¿verdad? Saquen ventajas o desventajas de cualquier tema utilizando esto y se van a dar cuenta, ¿verdad? Que es más fácil expresar ideas secuenciales. You can look for internet or you can invent in the moment. Pueden inventárselas en el momento. No problem, okay? I'm going to give you two minutes and then we start.
Okay, let's see. Um, well, eh, recuerden que tenemos que utilizar todos estos. Okay. Um, we have like sequence. Tenemos que utilizar todos como secuencia. Okay. Volunteers, in case eh, you are ready. Me, teacher. Okay, eh, Vicky, please. Go I, ahead. I can try. Yeah, can, of I... course, of course. Go ahead, try. Uh, I choose freelancing. Please. First, I think uh, freelancing is is great because the people can work from house. Mm -hmm. um, second, uh, um, the people can work um, part time, mm -hmm. and third. Maybe can can to have uh, other and um, other work. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, freelancing is is great mm -hmm. opportunity for young people or yes, uh, the young people prepare and uh, this work. Nice, Vicky. Very nice. Yeah, talking about freelancing, good ideas. Okay, and most of them are advantages, like positive aspects. So, good. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, who else? Teacher, I, I, I can only... Mm -hmm. Ah, adelante. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling Okay, eh, who else? ¿Qué más? Me, teacher. Please, Ernest, go. Okay, <clears throat> to begin, online purchase is a good way to make your own shopping fast and easily. In addition, there are many stores to see and find what you need. Furthermore, some stores offer good discount codes in specific categories. In conclusion, online purchase is a good way to buy fast and cheaply. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Ernest. Well done. That's the attitude. Very concrete ideas, sequence, conclusion, that's it. Here you have your point. Thank you, Ernest. Okay, what about some others? You tell me if you remember. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have short ideas. If you have a few words, don't worry. Let's try. And uh, remember that we have like skin activities. Uh, we talk about opinions, but now it's time to talk about profoundly to give more details or more ideas to support your point of view. Okay? Who else? We have some Thank other you. example. Okay. Okay. Uh, firstly, flexibility to study. And secondly, allows you to hold meetings without leaving home. And thirdly, you can attend class anywhere. In conclusion, it's very important to have access to online meetings. Yeah, very nice. Talking about internet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Positive aspects, yeah, in a sequence. Thank you, Brandon. Well done. That's it. Teacher, Fred me. Yes, Fredis, go. The information using internet is more at hand. Mm -hmm. In addition, also is faster. Future more internet is more fast. In conclusion, the life is easier with the internet. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Fredis. Well done. <laughs> Concrete ideas and established in a sequence. Pero un detalle, sería faster, no more fast, ¿verdad? Porque decís más rápido, okay, faster. Thank you, Freddy. Well done. Me well, teacher. Well done. Okay, Miguel, please. Okay. Advantage of the internet. First, it helps us find information about something we want or are looking for. Second, it helps us communicate with our loved ones 
were inside or outside the country. Third, it made it easier for, for us to find something from the past in and in conclusion, is a techno technology is very necessary. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. Well done. That's it. Very good ideas. I like it. Thank you, Miguel. Who else? Me, teacher. I will try. Okay, Roxy. Go ahead, Roxanne. Okay. Delivery, for, for example, for delivery. To begin, it's good because you stay at home. Second, uh, you save time, don't go out. And third, you don't spend gas. And conclusion is more comfortable. Just stay yeah. at home and wait for the food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Okay. okay. I, I like it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All the, the, the aspects thank that you. you mentioned, correct. But thank you. And uh, who else? Let's see. Maybe we can have, in this case, uh, Roberto, Morelia. I can try. Please. Uh, just, I want to, to get the idea. You have to talk about any tema? Any topic, yeah. yes. Any topic, okay. Uh, about eugenesis? Mm -hmm. Please. There, I think that it's a good idea and it's for, for the healthy or it's good for the animal, for example. Uh, secondly, um, I agree because the animals uh, feel a lot of hurt and it's difficult to to come some um, enfermedad. Uh, illnesses, diseases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and third, thirdly, um, take a decision is good for the family too, mm -hmm. because if you can have a a sick dog or cat in the family, because there are uh, young people or all the people. And in conclusion, uh, Eugenica is good for the, it's a good decision for the family and for the animals. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, very nice ideas. I guess because of your job, you had your own point of view, right? Some of the, the pets or animals, they are suffering. So euthanasia, it's a good way to stop the suffering, right, of the animals if they have, like, difficulties to the recover. Thank you, Morelia. Um, what about Robert? Okay, teacher, I'll try to improve mm -hmm. because it's a, a skill that I want to develop. Okay, uh, first, I think... Uh, internet is a good resource and because uh, we can use that for communication and to have information and this class for example is online this is a great resource that we have in our societies second uh, at the same time i think it's very dangerous because right now there is a lot of addiction to the networks, uh, social network specifically, and not only the youngs or kids, uh, all the society have this, this risk, risk, risk. Mm -hmm. risk. Um, but the youngs and kids are uh, in a particular situation because uh, the internet cool uh, can puede afectar su desarrollo can can affect the can development is developed okay okay third i think the internet is dangerous because um 
uh, some countries can provoke a crisis. Mm -hmm. For example, if the internet fail, it's I don't imagine a society without internet. It's, yeah. And lastly, uh, I think these resources have uh, some advantage and disadvantage, and we have to learn to know how to use for good this uh, this resource. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> Very nice, Robert. Okay. Uh, thank you. Well done. If you notice, Robert uh, used, I think, okay, uh, so talking about his point of view, Predis was very concrete. Ernesto talked about some aspects, but he didn't say, I think, but uh, all the ways that you use are okay because you can talk about your, your ideas, your point of view, your experience, as Morelia said, or concrete uh, ideas, okay? It depends on you, but this is a, a, a very uh, important tool for you to express your ideas, the sequence and the conclusion. So in the next module or in another activity in which you, wa you have to speak, remember that sequence and conclusion and your participation is going to be always really nice, right? Because you have order in your ideas. Thank you, my friends. Very nice job. Good. We have advanced. Veo que hemos avanzado bastante en, en, en el tema secuencial. Albert, I don't know if you are ready. Yeah, teacher. Cool. Albert, times of internet. The first one to start facilities communication. The second reduce the communi con communication distance. First, we use means Daily for person personal safety safety. Así se pronuncia, perdón. Yes. Uh, and lastly, in conclusion, the internet is necessary for daily communication. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Thank you. Well done. If you notice, uh, you are talking about some aspects, positive or negative, right? So that's it. Thank you, Albert. Okay, so remember, and this is very important, remember that everybody or everyone has a style to speak. Depends on your personality. So remember, you don't have to copy the, the way a person, speak, a person speaks. It depends on you, right? Depends on your ideas, the words that you know. So, but uh, these words, this sequence, expressions can help you right to order your points of view thank you my friends let's continue because uh we have some other participants but they are kind of um they are busy right because they are listeners okay we're going to go with is the university or high school education necessary to succeed tell me your point of view tell me okay you consider yes teacher because everybody will have an university degree or you can say no teacher come on in my family we don't have university studies and we are okay because we have some businesses we have a um, good um, balance with the economy or you can say come on teacher you can go to another country and make money with some other uh, forms so tell me your point of view okay is the university or high school education necessary to succeed? Is necessary para tener éxito? Yes, no, why? Okay, I'm going to be reading your ideas in the chat.
let's start with different points of view that we have here. Ernest, you are the first one, my friend. Then we go with Albert. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it but was I... from the previous. Uh, I'm sorry. It is Albert and Roxana. Please, Albert, you go. Okay, teacher. University education opens many doors and possibilities to live visitors. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice. And uh -huh. we go with. Roxana and Miguel. Okay, teacher. Education yes. allows you to expand your knowledge and skills to know how to express yourself, but it doesn't know necessarily make you successful. There are people who do not have university studies and are great business, but also in this in these days. It's very important that you have a career, otherwise you can have a good job. Mm -hmm. It is. You can have uh, you can have good opportunities, right? But if you yes. have university degree or a career, you can have more opportunities, right? That's your point. Thank yes. you. Nice. Okay. Miguel and Fred. Okay. For me university or high school is necessary because if not we will be able to have opportunities in the workplace since many do not like to study and in the they pay dearly for it but those who prepare have better opportunities Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Yes, it is like you can have some other opportunities, right? If you prepare. Okay, could it be. Thank you, Miguel. Predis and Ernest. Uh, in my case, the university or high school education is necessary, but not indispensable. The concept of success is different for everyone. I agree. Yes. Uh, it is not indispensable, right? Maybe it is uh, yeah, necessary to have opportunities to have access to some uh, types of jobs or to, to have access to different companies. But yeah, success can be seen in different forms, right? Thank you, Fredis. That's it. Okay. It. Edu education is uh, more... Um, amplio, more wide, wide, mm -hmm. wide, okay. because the good mechanic is success and no, no tiene un título universitario. They don't have, they don't have university degree and they can have like uh, uh, good earnings, ingresos. They can have good earnings, right? And they can be happy yes. with their job, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. If they love cars. Yeah, of course. Thank you for this. Okay. Nice. Ernest and Brandon. Thank you, teacher. I think absolutely no. Absolutely not. There are many examples of this, like Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, etc. But I know, I think the university is an essential complement of the mayor people. In my case, the university let, let me attend uh, specific professions. That's it? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, si no sé si lo dije bien, me, me permitió especializarme algo así. Mm -hmm. yes. En una profesión específica. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's like very specialization, very specific in some points, right? But of course, you you could have some other opportunities to work in some other areas. But in this case, uh, maybe you, that was your plan, right? Good. And of course, we have some other people that they didn't have studies and they had like success in different points, right? Good. 
Yeah, I guess it is like a compliment, as you say, and because there are some other people that they don't work, and they don't have a job related to their studies. They are professionals, but they are working on other things, right? So it is like relative. Thank you, Ernest. And Brandon, your turn. Okay. Uh, if it's necessary more at this time than even to get a, a job as an ass whipper, they ask for a high school diploma, but if not essential, if you have a business. Okay, and it is like this. It is like, for example, you can uh, have your your degree, right? And you can have your business, right? It is not just in like in the past that I remember in the past, it was like you studied something and the objective was to study on uh, to work only in that area, right? But now you can have some other chances to get money right and specifically uh, with by using internet by using your creativity right of course we can have some other um like uh, chances some other opportunity right thank you uh, i don't know robert or let me see morelia Do you have your point about this, Robert? Morelia? Marita? I don't know. Maybe they are not available, but. Hey, well. teacher. Yep. Uh, I think it's more easy for job with a university degree because without this uh, formation, it's very it's very difficult uh, work in uh, in some places but there are some people that have many abilities skills or talents for example in the business and but it's not my case <laughs> i need okay. a degree for job yeah you you, you need uh, okay yeah that's it uh, well good point nice and there are some jobs in which we definitely we need to have access to uh, a, a specific job okay um morelia you have your point your uh, or any idea about this ah yes just what one, one detail um roberto easier more easy is not correct it's easier okay Thank you. Uh, Morelia, please. It's necessary, but the depend of the mind and opportunities of the each, each person, because some people is good on the taking and can do the life of this way, and other people have the opportunity to study and get a little. Okay, yeah, it is like and get a title. One detail, uh, depends on, okay? I know that it sounds like depends of, but it depends on. Yeah, it is like depends of what are your plans, what are your objectives in life related to how you, you, you consider it is possible for you to earn money. Win is when you win the lottery, win a soccer match, you win a bet, ¿verdad? Cuando ganan una apuesta, la lotería, win, but earn, it's uh, when you work and you receive money, okay? That's like a difference between these words. So when you say earnings, están hablando sobre los ingresos. Okay, let me check this. Win es ganar. Earn es ganar, but when you have your salary. Okay, so everybody needs earnings. It can be like formal salary by uh, a profession or a job. Some others, they have their business. Some others, they have abilities, maybe singers, 
uh, musicians, athletes, right? People who work uh, with sports. There are d different forms. But anyway, you can have like opportunities and to have success in life is to, to work with the abilities or the talents that you have, definitely. Okay. Thank you, my friends. We continue now. Llevamos 40, más de 40 minutos hablando. Just speaking, just talking. So that's really nice. But we're going to work with grammar. Before we go with grammar, we're going to have this. A conversation between Felix and Julia. In here, let me check this. Here we have. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Okay, maybe we can have this. This. Safety. No, safety. Safety. No, safety. BC. Okay, e learning. Yeah, you already know what is e learning. When, well, you are having like e-learning. It's about online classes, online training when you use the platform or by using Zoom. There are some other, okay? Okay, Albert, go ahead, my friend. Okay, so I will need you to have a screenshot of this. We're going to practice a little bit and then we come back. So please remember to have remember the screenshot is very important so you can have like the conversation because sometimes you don't take picture uh, the, the screenshot and, and we have difficulties with that. So if anybody can send a picture, I will appreciate. Okay, my friends, please accept the request and see you in a moment.
Okay, my friends, welcome back. And let's see who wants to participate with this in easy conversation. Maybe we can have two teams. Okay, Brandon, who is your partner? Me, teacher. Okay, Freddy and Brandon, please go ahead, my friends. Okay. Okay. I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. So, like you will be busy. I take an already training on kitchen safe procedure this weekend, but I can't take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e learning option next time. Yeah, look at time. Look the time. I'm meeting some friend at conference tonight. See you later. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, good. Maybe That's we can it. have the mother. Um, let's see who else. What about if we listen this time to um Ernest and Miguel? Could you participate by pronouncing this, please? Yes. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, my friend. Come in, see okay. Sí. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training of kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. We will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Very good, my friends. Good pronunciation. Okay. Um, we're here. We have two structures uh, or two grammar structures to refer to the future. We have present continuous. I am having. I am taking, I am meeting, and here we have the uh, auxiliary will. You will be, I will ask two forms. Okay, here we have, look at the conversation and complete the sentences. Who wants to complete this? It's kind of easy, right? Because here we have the, the conversation. So you tell me, maybe we can have some of you helping me. What about... Um, Albert, can you help me with one of these from one to four? Okay. I have a training next week. Okay. I'm happy. Thank you. Predis. Two, three, or four? Um, two. Okay. What about uh, number two? I'm taking an already training on kitchen safety procedure. That's it. Yeah, I'm taking. Thank you. Okay, what about uh, Robert? Can you help me? Yes, teacher. Um... I will ask. I will. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For learning option next time. Okay, nice. And for the last, maybe we can have this time to Vicky. Could you help me with number four, Vicky? Oh. Sorry, I'm sorry. You're listening. No problem. Okay, maybe we can have this time to Morelia. Very easy, right? The last one for I or Miguel. I'm meeting the conference Thank you. Very simple, right? I am mirroring. Okay, it is like this. So, uh, the use of will and present continues. Thank you. Let's move. And here we have this. Okay, 
In this case, here we have match the training solutions to their description. So in this case, uh, here we have some definitions and here we have some words. For example, the topics of, I'm sorry. This is not working. Just give me a second. Sometimes it happens. This PowerPoint presentation like fails. Okay. And this part is called vocabulary building. And here we have of the shelf, of the shelf training courses in house training, shadowing mentoring. Okay, take a look at this. Just um, we're going to check it. And here are one, two, three, four. Okay. Look at this and I'm going to give you like one minute for you to read. And then we're going to complete it, okay? We have to add the topic to one of these paragraphs.
Okay, volunteers. Here we have this paragraph uh, for one, two, four paragraphs in four topics, right? Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Miguel. I think so. Uh, in the first number two, uh, I read, read that. Okay. In Please. Ball, Involves one employee following another employee like a shower to learn all the aspects of a job. This is a specially substitutable for new employees as part of their induction in house training for me too. In house training. Okay, in-house training. Okay, no problem. But in this case, it is going to be number three, shadowing. I know it is kind shadowing. of, oh, yes, shadowing. shadowing. But thank you. Yeah, it is. I'm going to take number three from here. Okay. Thank you. But yeah, it involves one employee following another employee. It's like very uh, together. Okay. Who else maybe we can have in this time to, um, I don't know, Morelia maybe? I'm, sorry, I'm not at home right now. Okay, maybe later. Brandon? Okay. Uh, and Roxana. Cheaper mm -hmm. headed. Courses, the staff will join employees from other business on the course. Some of these courses are designed to achieve or count towards a particular recognized qualification. Maybe number one. Okay, yes. On uh, the shelf, yes. That's number one I'm going to write here. Just give me a second. Yeah, number one and uh, Roxana, right? It Please. involves the informal transmission of that knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face-to-face -face meeting Use uh, of emails and telephone communication, it is essence, essential to have a mentor. Number two in a house training. Almost, because at the last word is the key word. La última es la, la palabra clave. It's mentoring. I know it's kind of uh, tricky, right? For it's mentoring and number two. It's like this, okay? So the first one is, um, let me check. I'm going to raise this X. Okay, and this one, uh, shall win. Then here we have all the shelf training courses, mentoring and in-house training, okay. Let's move, my friends. Let me check. Is okay. We we're going to have a listening. Okay, so please uh, pay attention to this, and maybe you can identify some ideas. You tell me later. I'm going to play it three times so you can have. Uh, enough opportunity to listen. Okay, let's listen. Oh, you're still not answering your phone. 
Okay, here are the instructions to get to my cousin's house for the party. Are you going to take your car? If you take the car, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. That's 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right, okay? If you're taking a bus, you can get the number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. Can't wait. This is going to be so great. Okay, let's listen one more time. Ah, oh, you're still not answering your phone. Okay, here are the instructions to get to my cousin's house for the party. Are you going to take your car? If you take the car, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. That's 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right, okay? If you're taking a bus, you can get the number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. Can't wait. This is going to be so great. And the last time. Ah, oh, you're still not answering your phone. Okay, here are the instructions to get to my cousin's house for the party. Are you going to take your car? If you take the car, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. That's 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right, okay? If you're taking a bus, you can get the number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. Can't wait. This is going to be so great. Okay, so let's see if we have some words in here, volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Ernest. I think she's uh, talking about a party mm -hmm. and something like cars uh, okay. uh, or invitations, I don't know. And uh, they will be groups, four person, I think. I don't know. Okay, Something nice. like that. Yes, yes, yes. You're okay. Thank you, Ernest. Nice. Any other volunteer? Me, me teacher. Okay, Marilia. She's giving an indication to go to the cousin house to the party. Mm hmm yeah, it is like this. It's a, a party in her cousin's house. Good. Thank you. Who else? One more. Ready? Two ideas, teacher. Is house in the party um, 38? Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to present this. Where is the text? Let me hear. Okay, I will show you. Yeah, uh, so remember, um, this girl was talking yesterday about the party, giving orientations, directions, details, and this person says, oh, you're still not answering your phone. So there is no answer, there's no reply for that invitation yesterday's invitation so that's why he's again making the an invitation <laughs> and talking about the road 13a right and talking about different things in case a person goes in a car she's giving some alternatives thank you okay okay yeah okay um okay. We're going to check now this, okay? Um, will, look at examples in the box, okay? How to use will versus present progressive, okay? And here we have number, well, the first one. Um, Albert, can you help me with number one? Will, it is used to talk about 
Okay, teacher. It is used, used to tell about future inter intentions that are decided, decided at the time of speaking. Supportiveness. Spontaneous. Spontaneous. Spontaneous of promise and the signs. Decisions. decisions. Okay. So it's about something that happens in that moment and you have to say something. Spontaneous offers, promises, and decisions. Decisions in that moment. Okay. I will help with the documents. They will ask about e-learning options. We will be on time. Now, present progressive. And in this case, maybe we can have the pronunciation. Oh, what about Ernest? Could you help me, please? It is used. Just the chair. Mm -hmm. Present progressive. It is used when plans are arranged and arrangements have been made. Okay. The manager, the manager. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. The mm -hmm. servers are having a training this weekend. He is meeting the bus at the airport tomorrow at 9 p.m. At mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Thank you. So now look at this. And here we have this a big difference. Will is something spontaneously, something at the moment, decisions. But in that case, in present progressive, progressive it is something in an we that you have in a schedule or agenda something that are plans with previous time okay so there's something that is going to happen but it is in the plans okay so now here we have complete the sentences using will okay or present pro progressive okay in the present progressive is el verbo to be Verbi, am, is, are, y el verbo con ing. Okay. So in this case, here we have this. Let me show you this. Just give me a second. Okay, um, here we have this. Okay, um, complete the sentences using will or present progressive, okay? Take a look at this. If we have volunteers, you tell me. Okay, volunteers. Me. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Miguel. Please activate your microphone. I'm sorry. Yes. What okay. number? Two. Mm -hmm. I can I come. Can, I can come with you on Sunday, and we will have a try, a training at the restaurant. Okay. Good. You can use will, but in this will. case, I will it's a plan. Mm -hmm. Pero como es un plan que ya está establecido, ser present progressive. Sería, en este caso, I am having. Of I'm course, having. you can use will. Sí puedes utilizar okay. will. Pero en okay. este caso, como es un plan, yeah, I'm having. Thank you. Okay, okay uh, here are number one. Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. I will have an orange juice. In number one, it is something that happens in that moment, so it's a decision quickly. I will have orange juice in number two it's a plan so i can come with you on sunday i'm having a training at the restaurant 
Okay, what about three, four, five, and six? You tell me. Me teacher. Mm -hmm, Albert. You look tired. I will help you finish the document. Okay, good. Um, you look tired. Mm -hmm, I will. Yes. This is something because this person look at uh, at you. You look tired. Te ves, te ves cansado. Te ayudaré. Entonces, this is something that happened that moment. Thank you. What about the others? Four, five, and six. Me teacher. Mm -hmm. Brandon. Uh, number four, the kitchen yeah. manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Okay, yeah. Because it's a plan. It's something that was arranged. Something in agenda. Mm -hmm. Five and six, who else? Okay, Ernest? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Five or six? The, uh, five, I think. Mm -hmm. The owner uh, will come to talk to us about training solutions. Yeah, could it be? Mm -hmm. And finally, here we have number six. Mm -hmm. It's me, teacher. He is working next week. Okay. Uh, could it be is not working? Okay, next week. Could it be like this? Okay, I'm going to uh, finish this topic about will with this. You already know how to make affirmative, negative, and interrogative like this. Okay, in this case, give me a second. Okay, four affirmatives. We have, um, she will, she will uh, travel to Spain. Okay, this is affirmative. Now here we have the negative. She will not travel to Spain. Podemos decir she won't, también es la contracción. Pregunta, question. Will she travel to Spain? I need you to make an affirmative, negative, and question. You can use the same. Pueden utilizar la misma pregunta, la misma oración, the same sentence, okay? No problem with that. Please, I need you to write it that in the chat. Necesito que le escriban en el chat, okay? Here we have affirmative, negative, and question. She will travel to Spain. She will not travel to Spain. Will she travel to Spain? Create your sentences and send them in the chat. Brandon, you are in charge of the sun, right? For tonight? Yes, teacher. Are you ready? Yes, ready. Okay, just a couple of seconds. Uh, be prepared, please. And the, the rest of, of participants, please send your sentences here in the chat.
Okay, uh, let's read all the sentences. We're going to start with Brandon, your sentences, and then Morelia, please. He will visit his mom. He won't visit his mom. Will he visit his mom? Perfect, thank you. Uh, Morelia and Maritza. They will take the bus. They will not take the bus. Will they take the bus? Perfect. Uh, Maritza and Ernest. Okay. I will cook pizza tonight. I will not cook pizza tonight. And will I cook pizza tonight? Okay, thank you. Ernest and Roxana. Would you eat the pizza? You would eat the pizza. You won't eat the pizza. Okay. Thank you. Roxana. Will... Mm -hmm. Okay. I will visit a friend next week. I will not visit a friend next week. Will I visit a friend next week? Okay. Good. Thank you. Um, Albert and Freddy's. Okay, teacher. She will eat chicken. She will not eat chicken. Will she eat chicken? Okay, thank you. Um, Freddy's and Miguel. They will play football. Uh, will they play football? That's it, teacher. Okay, in the negative, because that's the affirmative in question. Uh -huh. They will play football. The negative is they will not. Okay. And the question, it's okay. Thank you. Miguel, what about you? Okay. Uh, yeah. I will travel to Brazil. I will not travel to Brazil. Will I travel to Brazil? Perfect, thank you. That's it, okay. And what about the others? Maybe uh, Robert? I don't know if you're ready with your sentences. And let's see. Brandon, are you ready with your tongue? I'm going to- Yes, ready. Okay, uh, Robert, please, your sentences, and then let's go with the song. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. There is a mistake in a word. I will sleep early tonight. Will okay. I... I will not sleep early tonight. Mm -hmm. Will I sleep early tonight? Yeah. Ah, in, in the first... Uh, not tonight, right? Yeah, there is a misspelling. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Brandon. Okay, you can share the screen. No problem. Okay. 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 Can you see? Yeah. Just it is. Um. Can you close it up, or can you make zoom a little bit? Okay. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't do, but I continue learning. I never meant to do those things to you. And so I have to say before I go that I just want you to know. Okay, a very famous song, right? Does, every, does anybody know the song? The Reserve. 
the <laughs> restaurant, right? The, I guess it's who I suck the, the name, right? Yeah. Good, good song, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. And and let's see what do we have birds, here. Birds uh, say, want, now, meant, how, go, wish, and do. Uh, preposition to pronouns I and you uh, verbs before adverbs pardon before and just adverbs of time never and conjugation but and so mm, thank you yeah very nice very like uh, a short paragraph but uh, a lot of words in there thank you Brandon very nice yeah, it is like a very good song to practice English. I like this song because uh, it has like very common words that we can, um, yeah, we can memorize. Thank you, Brandon. Very nice. Um, and here we have Raquel's for tomorrow song that she told me that she's going to be prepared for tomorrow. Right, Raquel? Hi, teacher. Okay, your song is for tomorrow, okay? Yes. Thank you. Okay, and we just have 21 minutes and we finished. Okay, let's move now to the, the, the other part. Okay, come on, it is like this. Let me show you. Where is it? Okay, present continuous, it is also another, another form to express two things. Podemos expresar dos cosas con el present continuous. One is something that is happening right now, algo que está pasando en este momento. Or you can talk about um, future moments that are going to happen coming soon. O también se refiere a las cosas que van a pasar dentro de poco, ¿ok? Sí, tenemos el will y tenemos el going to, pero en este caso solo se trata, it is just about the verb be, am, is, are, and the main verb, el verbo principal, ing, con ing, ¿ok? Here we have, like, uh, one, some examples, aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos, de cómo los verbos, how verbs can be modified when you add ing, cuando se les agrega ing. Ok. Look at this. Make, making. So the, the letter E, it's, uh, you don't have to use it. Sit, you have to add another T. And so on. Ok. Maybe uh, you can have a screenshot of this. I consider that maybe you can this this can help you okay maybe in the future or it can help you with some homeworks right here we have wh questions what is he doing tonight when are you coming where is she heading to who is living today so uh, for this we're going to make just one some examples of the here I have some. Okay. These are examples are very easy. And remember that we're going to use uh, the present continuous for or present progressive for um, future events, okay? Let's see, for example, I'm going to do one. Who are you talking to? Okay. Mm. 
tell me the others by using like a uh, present progressive. Okay, take a look at this. I'm going to give you one second and then we complete this exercise. Okay, uh, you tell me volunteers for this, this speaking activity, and we say goodbye. Me, teacher. Okay, please. What number? What are you doing? Mm, what are you doing? Good. Thank you. Who else? Are you travel? Okay, how? Mm -hmm. Traveling. Remember, ing, ing, traveling. Okay, who else? Uh, me, teacher. Please. When are they coming? Okay. Thank you. Who else? Me, teacher. Where is the guy sleeping? Oh, where oh, is the guy sleeping? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Ernest, you have some other? Thank you. Where is the cat sleeping? Good. Why, why the girl is lowling? Mm -hmm. Why is the why girl is... Mm -hmm. laughing? La GH suena como F, bien raro. Yeah. Yes. Is the girl laughing? Enough. Enough. It's enough. Enough. To enough. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Why is the girl laughing? Yeah. Okay. Any other? The last one, teacher. How much beer are you drinking? Oh, come on. Very good question. Okay. <laughs> I don't drink. Good. Thank you. How much beer are you drinking? Good. Okay, we have three more. Me, teacher. Please. What am I reading? Mm -hmm. Nice. And two, just two sentences. Where it is? She is staying. Where? 
Okay. Where is she staying? And the last one. How many cakes is um, it eating? Very strange, right? Thank you. Affirmative sentences about present progressive. Okay. Yeah. Good. Tomorrow we're going to uh, check negatives and questions. And we're about to finish. The last activity that we are going to check is this. Um, where should government spend more money on? Donde deberían de gastar más dinero los gobiernos? You tell me, can be El Salvador, can be some other country uh, from Latin America, from Europe. I don't know. Depends on you. But talking about Salvador, I consider that we have clear some areas in which uh, it is necessary. The support by money. Okay? So I'm going to be waiting for your answers. We read and we say goodbye. Okay? Please send your uh, opinion your point of view in the chat and I'm going to read it in a moment please Okay, 
Let's go with the opinions and we say goodbye after finishing this. Let me take Freddy's, you're the first one, and then Roxana. Please, my friends, go. Okay, in my opinion, the government should spend more money on education. Is the only way I know to get out of poverty and have a more comfortable life. Education in ability specific. Okay, That's yes, it. very interesting. Yeah, education in some skill or uh, ability, right? Very specific. Thank you, Fredis. Yeah, I guess education is the most important area. Thank you. Roxana and Morelia. Okay, the government to spend more money in health and education. Mm -hmm. Nice. Morelia and Albert. Um, I think the sign that Roxana, the government mm -hmm. should spend money in health and education. Both are necessary and important. Yeah. I guess health is very, very, very important. Of course it is. Um, Albert and okay, Miguel. I think here are three factors that are the most important is which expenses can be estimated. Number one, health. Number two, safari. safety, safety pardon. Mm -hmm. and three education okay three aspects thank you health safety and education okay we go with miguel and ernest okay for me it will be good for government uh, to invest in building a place for other adults where they can have access to medicine food and place to sleep and be treated with dignity, dignity, since we have a lot of that on the streets. Yeah, thank you. Um, there is a problem with education from different um, generations. And one of the reasons that there are a lot of elders on the street, they don't have food, they don't have a shelter, they don't have a bed, it's because maybe they took bad decisions, but they didn't have a good education. So uh, there are, yes, as you mentioned, a lot of people uh, living on streets and they need help, especially adults. Right. Thank you, Miguel. Ernest and Brandon. I think and the government should spend their money on poor countries. Help them to achieve a better life quality for their people. In areas, for example, education, health, technology, etc. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Very good examples. And especially for, yeah. And there are some countries in Latin America. Thank you. Brandon, what about you? Okay. Uh, nowadays, more uh, money should be spent on education and street repairs. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much, my friends. Okay. Well, uh, just let me tell you something. Well, I guess we have some difficulties related to some areas in, in our country or different countries. But remember that the money that the government has, especially it's from taxes, from part of the money that we give. Right, so it is uh, just and uh, it is fair and it is good that that moment uh, that money return, right? That money returns in good projects to, for the benefit of people, kids, adults, and in general, yes. But if you notice, the main points were education, health, and safety or security. Um, there are a lot of illnesses like cancer like some other health problems and that we need uh, like development necesitamos un desarrollo like a lot of new technology for health and different aspects okay 
So my friends, um, we have just two more classes, please. I hope you can be here. Espero que pues no falten. Okay, it is good. Um, Nancy, here we have Nancy as well. Let's see, Nancy, can you read your opinion? Good evening. Hello. Uh, it should spend money on infrastructure, 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 health, and education. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Similar, right? There is like uh, the main idea of the. Hola. Okay. So, um, I need you to please come up. Pulgar arriba, thumb up in the chat. I'm going to check the attendance list in that way. And remember, please, uh, don't forget to connect on time tomorrow and on Wednesday, uh, on Thursday. Miércoles eh, y jueves, últimos, últimas dos clases. Eh, no sé si ustedes ya recibieron eh, la información del, a su correo sobre la encuesta de satisfacción. Si la recibieron, bueno, y si no, no hay problema. Yo le voy a dar toda la información a ustedes para que no tengan problemas para hacer la, la, la encuesta que la vamos a realizar el día jueves en la última clase. No hagan encuesta, ¿verdad? Sino que esta la vamos a hacer hasta el día jueves. Así que, pues, eso sería todo. See you tomorrow. Descansen. See you tomorrow. I'm going to send tomorrow. Right, speaking activities, preparan sus respuestas y eso sería todo, ¿ok? Have a good night. Pasen feliz noche. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye bye.